Ode on the Spring, by Thomas Gray. Lo, where the rosy-bosomed hours, fair Venus train appear, disclose the long-expecting flowers, and wake the purple year. The attic warbler pours her throat, responsive to the cuckoo's note, the untaught harmony of spring, while whispering pleasure as they fly, cool zephyrs throw the clear blue sky, their gathered fragrance fling. Where'er the oak's thick branches stretch, a broader, browner shade, where'er the rude and moss-grown beech, or canopies the glade, beside some water's rushy brink, with me the muse shall sit, and think, at ease reckoned in rustic state, how vain the ardor of the crowd, how low, how little are the proud, how indigent the great. Still is the toiling hand of care, the panting herds repose, yet hark, how throw the peopled air, the busy murmur glows. The insect youth are on the wing, eager to taste the honeyed spring, and float amid the liquid noon, some lightly or the current skim, some show their gaily gilded trim, quick glancing to the sun. To contemplation sober I, such is the race of man, and they that creep, and they that fly, shall end where they began. Alike the busy and the gay, but flutter throw life's little day, in fortune's varying colors dressed, rushed by the hand of rough mischance, or chilled by age, their airy dance, they leave, in dust to rest. Methinks I hear in accents low, the sport of kind reply, poor moralist, and what art thou? A solitary fly. Thy joys no glittering female meets. No hive hast thou of hoarded sweets. No painted plumage to display. On hasty wings thy youth is flown. Thy sun is set, thy spring is gone. We frolic, while tis man.